You see that? That's the power that we're going to be working with in just a short amount of time. I told you guys in a couple videos back that I've been working on some projects. Well, today we're getting our solar panels and we'll take a look at those when they arrive. But I can't wait to start harnessing the power of the sun out here on this property because from here we're seeing so much more sunshine than what we're getting up in Ohio. I've always wanted to do this. I knew I needed some land because I really want to do the solar rocking system in ground. I don't want to put it on the roof there. You see this roof's pointing in the wrong direction. That's shaded probably all the way until, I don't know, one or two o'clock in the winter. So that would do us no good. I want to put it out here in this field somewhere pointing basically that way so as the sun comes up we'll be getting a lot of sun even in the winter time so today is a very exciting day life-changing for me and for my family because we know it's the start of our solar project although they're still going to take some time to build this out getting the solar panels have been a little bit of a, a little bit of a challenge and I'll give you a little story here. I bought some from Santan Solar and I'm buying in phase micro inverters for each panel. We're doing 27 panels. It's going to be a 10 kilowatt system. And I'm doing 27 panels that we bought from Santan and they were first solar panels. And after I had already bought them, I found out that the panels were not compatible with my micro inverters not in power range uh, they just weren't uh, compatible with a micro inverter I guess so we had to return those and it's not that it, I had bought the micro inverters to go up to 450 I was doing the IQ 8s and I was going to use those uh, pluses or whatever it was, it was IQ IQ 8 plus I think it was and that takes me up to over 400 kilowatts per panel. Not kilowatts, sorry, watts. And the panel was 400, I think it took me up to 440 or 450 watts per panel. And these panels were 410, so I was like, oh, that's fine. We'll buy them. Turns out, it wasn't compatible. Had to return them. Good thing they weren't shipped yet. And Santan, I will say, my experience with them, with their customer service and everything, was fabulous. Found another company out of New York, Surplus Solar, where they were selling panels. These are brand new panels. I guess they're just surplus. I mean, hence the name, Surplus Solar. And I dealt with the owner there. He's been he's been great. His name's Matt, if you want to reach out to him. And I got 27 panels from him. They're being delivered today. We've ran into a little bit of delay with shipping because of all that snow that happened in New York. There was a massive snowstorm. If you're not in the United States and you're unaware of this, there was a massive snowstorm about a week ago, week and a half ago, up there to dump two foot of snow, and we couldn't get the panels out. So I told him I was in no rush because I still gotta figure out where to put it back here. I gotta do a special um, permit to get, I, uh, I get approval to put that on my, my property here. And I guess because it's over seven feet tall, I have to have that. So. It's very important that to get that because you don't ever want to start a solar project just off grid i hear a lot of people saying that they're just doing it off grid and they're good to go they don't have to do anything not the case in my county in kentucky so be be very very uh just look for a lot of information because what you think that you can do you may not be able to do it and you would spend tens of thousands of dollars in some cases and be stuck with not being able to put it on your land i don't know how common that is but for here i don't know how easy that permit is going to be able to get i know i have to go in front of a committee a three panel committee and present my case i know that much and it's i thought i would be able to start this pretty quick i know that that process is going to take a couple months because they're everything's backlogged and that sucks but we got the panels coming today I've already got the micro inverters and I'll show you those. I actually ended up going with the IQ7 pluses for these panels and we got 27 of those for every panel will have a micro inverter on it. So let's say one panel gets dirty, then 
the rest of the panels are going to be producing at whatever the max will be for that day or that hour whatever the sun's hitting on it it won't pull down a whole string of uh, panels so i felt like the micro inverters some people say it might be overkill out here in a field where right now we have no trees but that's not the plan forever i have a hundred trees coming also um, these are uh, green giants and we're going to use those more privacy down the down the side of the property i bought those off of etsy and the lady has been great with her customer service i would highly recommend if you're looking for green giants and you want to put some privacy on your property go check out etsy and i'll give you a link below to her uh her store she's out of florida i think and i would say everybody that's left her a review and there's hundreds of them have given great reviews so i'm going to try it and then we'll see how that turns out at the end of march we're supposed to get those trees she's holding off to send them because of my climate i need to wait just a little bit longer before getting them in the ground i'm excited to get them in the ground but i don't think this is a good time but for today's video we're talking about solar i'm going to go grab a couple of those inverters and we're going to take a look at those and see what you think and then when the truck uh, gets here we'll take a look at the panels solar project with, that I was talking about these are the inverters and what I've done is bought 27 new inverters off of eBay in different lots here and there so we've got 27 of these bad boys right here they each come with the clips or the wiring so we have IQ7 pluses is what I ended up going with for these panels that are arriving today. Let me get a shot down that box. They're stock nine tall, three wide. We'll talk more about that when we start the project, but you see that I've been compiling my materials a little bit at a time. And down here, that's heavy by the way. We have the combiner box. This is combiner box three from Enphase. I'm not going to open it up, but um, you have to have that. You have to have these uh, micro inverters or a massive inverter, one inverter, and the solar panels just to get started. So we'll have everything just to get started. Then we got to figure out how we're going to rock it. How we're going to put it on a roof. We're going to put it out there where I was talking about earlier. And I'm leaning more toward putting it out in the field there.
Oh That was hairy. <laughs> I was really nervous at one point. I thought I was coming off the truck. Uh, so in the next, say, month or so, probably maybe two months, that's a project that we're going to start. And I'm ex very excited to start that one because that gives you energy independence at some point. This here is about 10,008. 10, I think actually it's 10,080 um, watts, so 10 kilowatt system. I think that's what it comes up to. Just roughly off the top of my head, I can't quite remember the exact number on it, but it's 370 watts per panel at 27 panels. So I'm pretty sure, boom, what that is. So here, and we bought the S Energy brand because they're black on black. I'm a little bit nervous about this right here, but I don't see no damage back here. Or I don't feel no damage back there, but I am a little nervous, but the whole panel's got a black backside and a black front. So for me, for aesthetics, it may not be um, the best producing, but it still produces well, but it may not be the best producing when you start talking about it from what I'm, from what I'm learning but it is definitely the best looking. If we're gonna put those out on the back in the field, I want black on black. So I want black wires, so it hides my wires, and I want black fronts with black backs. So I want an entire black panel. Those are kind of hard to find. They're out there, they're different. Seal Fab, First Solar had them. Um, other um, manufacturers do have them, but they get very expensive. I got a really good deal on these and we'll get into the cost of that later on as I start building out that project and probably do a final follow-up exactly what everything cost me on my solar array but I'm too early to really start that so if you like these type of videos where I'm putting out content about building out this property be sure to follow along with me and guys I'll see you in the next one